Hello. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pastor Nate Ryan, and I'm the pastor of discipleship at Brewster Baptist Church. This past Sunday, I had the pleasure of preaching to our congregation for the first time since joining the pastoral staff back in August, and I preached on the theme of spiritual gifts and the body of Christ from 1 Corinthians chapter 12. In 1 Corinthians 12 verse 1, Paul tells us, Now about the gifts of the Spirit, brothers and sisters, I do not want you to be uninformed. Part of the problem that was facing the Corinthian church at the time of Paul's writing was that they misunderstood the purpose and value of spiritual gifts. Some believed that some gifts were given to us by God, while others were given to us by some weird other spirit that was not intended to serve the church. And then others believed that some of the spiritual gifts were more valuable than others and more worthy of praise uh, and admiration than the rest. But neither of those were true. Those were misunderstandings about what the gifts of the Spirit are about and, more broadly, what it means to be the body of Christ. Which is why our theme for this week is the body of Christ as we continue our Reimagining the Church series. Spiritual gifts are a gift given to us by God. Certain skills and talents that each of us possess that are all different that are intended to help edify the church, the collective whole of the church, so that it can do its most effective and efficient work in being the vessels of God's grace and uh, the proclaimers of the gospel of Jesus Christ that we're, it's intended to be uh, in, in the world around us. We are one collective whole, but each of us has unique talents and gifts that are given to us by the Spirit for the purpose of that missional work. And over the course of these devotional videos for the next seven days, we're going to be talking a lot about the body of Christ, what it means for us to be unified as one whole of a church in the midst of a bunch of diversity, having a bunch of different skills and talents that we can uniquely bring to the table. So Paul uh, starts 1 Corinthians chapter 12 with this, with this instruction. We don't want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about spiritual gifts. And my goal, hopefully, is over the next uh, seven days as we work through this chapter that we won't be uninformed either.